What you need first of all is your workpiece that you clamp securely in this vise here, which is nice and flat and level, and the crack size drill bit here, which inserts into the chuck like so. Uh, what's happening here in the chuck is these three fingers open and close to grab tightly onto this drill bit, like, like so. It's hard to explain when it's kind of vertical like that, but it's a very tight fit into that drill bit, which is acting like that and moving up and down. Okay, so we just do that now. And you actually tighten this chuck up with this key here, like this. It's, it's always clockwise. Just finger tight, so the, the drill is actually tight into the machine like that. And very perpendicular as well, it's got to be absolutely straight. Okay, then you position the drill bit without the machine running first of all, into the correct place. And when you're happy with that position, put this essential guard down like this, okay, which is going to protect you from any breakages or any chips or offcuts from the material being drilled. It's always wise just to have a very kind of like um, short dry run first of all to make sure that you're happy with the operation and then when you are you can switch it on and always introduce the drill bit very gently no matter what material you're drilling, no matter what size, just almost hold the drill still before you enter the material. And the next operation is just kind of winding the drill bit down through the material. Okay. Very often in the thick pieces it's wise to kind of pull the drill bit out to clear the waste and then approach again. Like so. Okay. Uh, next thing is to turn the machine off and almost stand and wait and hold your breath till it stops spinning so you're not tempted to come into contact with any moving parts. And there, by removing the guard, you can take the work out and you have your finished hole. If you do get into trouble or if there's an emergency and you can't remember where the stop buttons are, this is pretty obvious. It's right next to it, it's right in your face and you can hit that with your finger, your arm, your elbow, your head, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's just going to stop the machine and it's going to need resetting before it's restarted, which gives you a chance to find out what the problem is and kind of uh, remove any obstacles. If you don't secure the work properly, the drill may actually start spinning the work rather than drilling a hole, like so. Um, the tendency here might be to automatically stop that with your hand, okay? But the main thing is to stop it as quickly as you can with the most accessible switch, which is this emergency stop. Okay, you should not be tempted to grab hold of it like that. Leave it alone, just stop the machine immediately.